Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at my CMMG Banshee 300 AR pistol. This one's a little different. It's chambered in 5.7 by 28 millimeter. The upper was switched out. Now you've seen me review this gun using this upper right here. This one's chambered in 300 blackout. I love this setup, but I was able to order just the upper chambered in 5.7 and now I can shoot 5.7 all day long and it's a ton of fun a, a huge resurgence with this round you know i think when ruger offered the 5.7 or the 5.7 pistol a lot of people came back to this round and many people said well i hope ruger makes a carbine cmmg's been doing this since 2018 they had a 2018 model this is a newer one and this also has a huge advantage and it's right here 40 round magazines and I took it to an indoor range primarily for a function test and the sight in the optic. And, you know, I loaded up 40 rounds with each of these and it worked flawlessly. And it was a ton of fun. The 5.7 is, it's fast, it's noisy. There's a huge muzzle flash and I really enjoyed it. And so I am so happy that I got this upper. Now you can see that this one's shorter. The overall length here is 19 inches in its shortest form and it has a five inch barrel and you can see the handguard's very short as well because it's got a five inch barrel it has an aluminum m-lock slotted handguard a lot of rail space right there the lower is the same that i use with my 300 blackout single stage trigger and an ambidextrous thumb safety oversized charging handle check that out all right that's nice and easy to manipulate and we look over here on this side we can see that there's the ambi thumb safety sling mounts the oversized charging handle and then it's inscripted banshee right there the cerakote color is slate that's what i chose kind of like a cobalt blue a lot of people said they loved the way that looked when i featured this they they have many different colors i really like the way this looks it's, it's like a touch of class that i really enjoyed now i sighted in the optic i put a bushnell trophy trs 25 there and it, it works well with this setup. You know, just a simple red dot, not a lot of money, and it's fine. The riser, I realized that I needed once I put it on the, the rail. I couldn't get a good vision of the dot, so I put that riser on, and it just worked very well. The one thing that I really enjoy with the CMMG products, in this case, it's a rip brace. On the rifles, it's a rip stock, and that is simply, from its shortest position, ripping it out so you can have comfortable shooting now you could preset it to where you want it to stop you know if you want it to go you know halfway there maybe a little bit more there or all the way out the shooter can do that simply by ripping it out and that is i think an advantage because it's fun so you got the rip brace you've got the 40 round magazines and you have the no ffl or transfer fee by having this upper shipped right to your house so if you have an ar lower you can have the ship right to your house and throw it on and you too can shoot 5.7 all you want. Or 9mm, 45 or 10mm, you name it. CMMG is making a whole bunch of those uppers to suit shooters that want a variety of caliber uh, choices. And that is super cool. Another advantage that they have is that they use a radial delayed blowback system. And what that is, it's a mechanical delay that allows the pressure to move into the chamber before the bolt unlocks and performs its action and what that does is create soft shooting and, and people who own these will tell you that they say it's so it's such a soft shooting in this case ar pistol or rifle you know even with some of the heavier caliber chamberings it is noticeable now the 5.7 you're not going to notice that much it's a soft shooting round anyways but you know you throw a 10 millimeter on here or something even larger it is very noticeable and i noticed it a lot with my 300 blackout you know when i when i fired that it was like man this is like nothing and that is why because they use this radio delayed blowback system so it's a, a super cool setup and i am so happy to have it and i can't wait to get this out to the range and fire it and you know zero in on some targets because i love to hear that the sound of the steel hitting and you know the the loud uh, burst that the 5.7 offers with 
Did I already mention? 40 round magazines is so much fun. And this setup is, uh, like, I just keep saying it's a lot of fun because that's the best word that I could come up with it. As well as, you know, a lot of people are going to hunt with the 5.7. And I know a lot of people also self-defense. So multi-usage, let's just say it that way. And here we have an AR pistol that I'm going to be showing off a little bit more. So y'all can look forward to that. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.